Can you say more on that, Spooky? Hello, and welcome to my channel, Haley Revintage. Today, I'm very excited about the project I have for you. So today I have a dress, it's technically 1948, I'm just gonna call it 1950s, because it's very post-war in the amount of volume in this dress. It's like definitely one of those transition pieces. But the dress that I'm going to make today is this one here. It is a size technically too big for me, so I am expecting to have to tailor this one a little bit. But this video is a collaboration with Drew. So Drew and I went to this fabric factory and we did end up with some of the same fabrics. And so we are both going to be using the same fabric to make a dress. We both have said that we're making something 50s, but other than that, we don't know anything about each other's. My plan is to keep it this way. And the fabric I'll be using today is this. I don't know if you can tell from back there, but this is a really lovely peach swiss dot and i have 12 and 5 8 yards of this which is more than enough for what i need it's almost double what i need for this pattern and i'm going to be shortening this pattern to be like more like a t length or below the knee length as opposed to this is a full length gown uh, i wanted to use this fabric up i am planning on then also making a shirt from this and depending on how this dress turns out we'll see what i'm going to do with the rest of the yardage vogue is actually one of my least favorite pattern brands uh, I find their instructions super challenging to follow. It shouldn't be too bad, all things considered, since it is a dolman sleeve, so I won't have to factor in like armhole stuff. I'll just need to get it more nipped in here. My plan for today, I am gonna work on this actively today. My plan is just to get the fabric cut for the dress. It's gonna be quite a big project because this dress takes seven yards of fabric, so that will be plenty for me to do just today. And then I will get this all cut out and my plan will be to check in with you guys tomorrow morning before I start sewing the project. And definitely make sure to pop over to Drew's channel. I will link it down below the video she puts up to see what pattern she's using for her version of whatever she's making this fabric in. I think it'll be super fun. I'm excited to see what she makes. Let's hop over to cutting. And here we are doing my least favorite task of cutting the fabric. This was actually fairly straightforward because of the grippiness of the dots. Because they are flocked velvet, they like kind of stuck to each other and made it super easy to like not have the fabric move. The other thing I do need to do with these is because I'm shortening the dress by six inches, which is why you see that little fold there, I am then needing to draw a line that matches up that edge to the waist uh, so that way I can then cut it. I am marking it with a yellow chalk which you can't really see because my goal is for it to not be able to be seen because I only need this marking for the duration of me cutting it out and I don't really want it to last a long time or have the need to wash it out later. So that is why you guys can't see it but I can see it as I'm cutting. As always, Spooky is a pain in the butt, even though I love her. And yeah, this fabric just wasn't too bad to cut out. I did realize in the middle of it that I forgot to cut out for French seams, so this will now be a no French seamed pattern, which was not the plan, but sometimes stuff happens and you forget. Good morning, I realize I forgot to get a drink, but that's fine. It is almost 11, which uh, was not the plan today. Today I was planning on getting started around nine or 10, I realized it was nice outside to take photos, and so I got all ready to take photos, and then it got too sunny to take photos, and then I chatted with a random lady that I met who was very lovely, but all of a sudden now it's 11. I'm gonna get sewing. I do have a queer clothing swap that I need to get to at one. Hey, spooky, you're blocking. So I'm gonna sew as much as I can for this hour. Luckily now it is light out until seven, so I should still have plenty of sewing hours left in the day. Last night after I finished cutting out my pattern, I had just such a lovely conversation with Drew. We talked about kind of our sewing plan but we have not seen each other's patterns. I set the rule that we were not gonna see what each other's making until the video comes out, which now I'm unhappy with myself because I can't wait to see what she makes. I forgot how fun it is to like chat with someone who's working on a similar project to you. The first thing I will be doing the morning these comes out is going over to her channel and watching what she made because I'm so excited, huh, Spooky? I'm so excited. Oh yeah, we are an excited bunch. She's, she's our hype cat. I really need to use my sewing time more often to catch up with friends across the country. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to focus on the bodice today and then do the skirt and attaching them 
tomorrow. That's the plan. Hey, I, I'm wearing lipstick. You can't just smush your face in it. That's kind of the game plan. I don't know if I feel like I can finish the bodice today, but I'm gonna give it my best and we're gonna try to. Oh, thank you. Oh, you just got my lipstick, Boo Bear. So for this pattern, we are starting with the darts. I am just pinning these together after marking them in blue ink that is water soluble. So once I am done with the bodice, I'll just dunk it in water and everything will go away. I really like this marker because it's so bright and it's not hard to see. Sometimes with chalk, I think it rubs off too quickly and I have a really hard time looking at it. So I am just pinning these and then I'm gonna go ahead and sew them. And then I'm going to go ahead and press them. Since I don't really like working with Vogue patterns because they don't give great instructions, it's nice to know where darts are supposed to be pressed, which is almost always towards the center, so I don't have to like guess on some of these things that Vogue just leaves out. I did want to show you guys how I bring in the waist a little bit. So this is sewn with a 5 8 seam allowance, so I wanted to actually sew the very bottom of the waist that I want to be a little bit of a smaller bit with a 7 8 seam allowance. So so I eliminate, I think, an inch total. So the way I'm doing that is first I am making a mark at 5 8 from where one of the like permanent markings is, in this case a notch, and then I am measuring down from there. At the very bottom, I am measuring a 7 8 from the seam, and then I am just drawing a line between the two, and then I'll just sew that, and it'll be smaller. And then here you can see me actually sewing up those side seams as well as the shoulder seams. The bodice for this is pretty easy to put together since it has dolman sleeves and so I don't have to do any inset sleeves. And then here I am sewing up the bow tie collar thing. I enjoy this part of sewing because there's no curves and so it's pretty easy. And I'm really loving this fabric because it basically grips itself, which makes it so much easier to sew. And while I am using pins, I almost could not use pins with this fabric and probably end up okay. And then we're, of course, to another one of my least favorite tasks, which is turning things like this inside out. It's always very annoying. And then finally, while my voluminous hair is getting in the way and you can't really see what I'm doing, I am sewing that bow collar to the actual blouse. In this case, it was really easy because all of the notches and stuff lined up and I had no issues. And now I have started to work on the cuffs, which are a big feature of this piece. First, I am just sewing them and then I am going to go ahead and iron them. Turning these was a little bit challenging because it is a curved line and because this is a polyester fabric, it doesn't press particularly well. In retrospect, I should have interfaced these and I think I would like them in general a lot better, which I could go back and do later if I desired, but for now I'm just leaving them be. And then excuse the kind of gross looking stew, my meals are for nutritional value, not for beauty. I made a nice lentil stew, I like to meal prep before I do a big sewing weekend, so I have really, really nutritional calories to feed my body to keep me sewing, since I am not always the best about taking care of myself while sewing. So yeah, I'm enjoying this lentil stew and sorry for the gross footage of watching me eat it. I just always think it's really important to be taking care of yourself while you sew and I wanna call out when I do it. So hopefully you will do it as well. And then here I am all snuggled in and full and happy and I am just sewing my collar. I'm just slip stitching that down so it doesn't flap and it looks really, really nice. And then now we're sewing the cuffs. This view isn't working as well now that I have big curly hair when I sew. I, I'm first just basting the cuff to the sleeve and then after I finish that up I am then stitching the bias tape on it that I will then fold in and leave it with a nice finished like cuff edge seam. And then the last thing I need to do tonight is put in the buttonholes and I am doing this so that way I don't have to do it around the big skirt of fabric and have all that weight pulling on the machine while it makes the buttonholes. And so that is why I'm doing that now. In this case, I am first starting with a tester piece to make sure everything turns out the way I expect. Even though the buttonhole foot is pretty reliable, I like to do one practice round on every single project just to make sure the button fits through the hole because once you put a buttonhole into your final project, tearing it out is going to show. So this one looks great, works really well, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the rest. I really love using a button stitch foot 
to do this. I was really, really afraid of this for a very long time. So I really encourage you, if you are a beginner sewer, use your buttonhole foot. It's really, really great. It saves you so much time because hand sewing those buttonholes really, really sucks. And so I would really, like it's scary and intimidating, but go and give it a try. It will seriously improve your life, I promise. Good morning. Yesterday I did indeed wrap up the bodice just as I had planned to. Uh, so this is what we're looking at. I'm very excited about this. Spooky, can we not? She's making a ruckus. I did some tacking um, that I don't know if you can see from that far away, but I have the tacking for where the buttons go. I have the buttonholes in. The reason I have the tackings in is I gave this guy a dunk yesterday to get all of that blue marking that was all over the fabric out. And I'm pretty excited to see what this looks like actually on. So that is kind of where we've landed this morning slash today. I will be working on the skirt attaching the skirt to the bodice and then eventually attaching the buttons, double checking the fit. And then this morning, it is 10 o'clock. Uh, I've kind of been up and about. I went and I got these lovely flowers at the farmer's market and I also got myself some yummy pastries. This is a hot chocolate croissant. I just decided this morning that I need to get out of the house and I like going to the farmer's market right when it opens because I just like can't stand the crowds when it gets bigger. And usually I don't buy flowers, but they had tulips and I love tulips, so here we are. This is now the part in the video where I get super awkward and remind you that I have a Ko-Fi if you wanna go over and buy me a coffee. I do put a lot of time, work, and dedication into this channel, as well as a lot of my own finances to keep everything running. So if you do feel the desire to go over and buy me a coffee, I would super appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I've just had such a lovely morning and now I'm getting hydrated. I guess I'm getting sugared up. Uh, this is not really nutritionally valuable. Valuable. I'm trying to be good about uh, taking care of myself while I sew and I am going to go ahead and get started. So I will see you at the sewing machine. So here I am sewing all of the panels of the skirt together. This had six panels in total, three in the front and three in the back, and they were all pretty wide. I was very excited that the measuring that I did when I initially cut the pattern, which was that big six inch fold that I had actually worked out perfectly and all of the things aligned like they should. I was not expecting that, so I was quite pleased with myself when this happened. So yeah, I just, I feel like even though this project is more like some of the other projects I've done and I'm maybe not learning as much for it, I'm still definitely learning something and it will really actually help me because I'm usually cutting five-ish inches off of every skirt before I hem it. So now I can just do it before even cutting the fabric and save the fabric, which is really, really neat and I'm very excited about. And then here I am pinning all of the top and the bodice together. I'm again pretty excited here because my calculations on how I did my waist where I took it in about an inch worked out perfectly on both the bodice and the skirt so they actually aligned up evenly perfectly and so I'm just very excited because that was definitely not something I could have done when I was sewing earlier in my sewing journey and so then once I have them all pinned I am just gonna go ahead and sew them down and then I will of course be pressing the waistband part up and then from there I will be moving on to the zipper. It has been a while since I've done a side zipper and I forgot how much I don't enjoy them. I also forgot how much I don't enjoy wearing them because I was, of course, this was the point where I was trying it on a bunch with the zipper in and I forgot how much I dislike the side zipper because it, your hair and your makeup still gets messed up and all over it when you try it on or take it on and off. So next time I make this pattern, I will for sure be moving the zipper to the back. However, the zipper still went in and looked really, really neat. I have really gotten zippers down and I don't even feel nervous when I go to do them anymore, which is a huge improvement since even recently, I have gotten a lot of anxiety when it comes to insert the zipper. And now it feels like I have it down pat and it goes super, super well. I got hot in my sweater, so excuse the crop top tummy. But here I am using a new technique I learned from one of my more recent projects. I actually don't remember which project I did this with, but it was showed me that you can gather down the edge of the hem to then gather it and ease it into the hem much better. And so that way 
it's like not as poofy or weird and I really really like this method and I now have continued to do it when I did it with that one it had me actually then so hem taped down on top of it and I didn't really like that part so for this one I just folded over the top one quarter of an inch and machine stitched it and then here I have put in the gathering stitches I'm pulling them and then I am just ironing everything down here I am doing the hand stitching this feels like it took forever I believe from what I recall the bottom of this skirt measures something like a hundred plus inches so there's a reason it took forever but I did get it done and I do really enjoy hand stitching I find it very relaxing to sit down and watch TV and do this and then once I had the hem done I am just working on the buttons first I am working on opening up the buttonholes which I do by first popping a seam ripper in and making a hole big enough to get my little tiny sharp scissors in and then I put in the scissors and I cut the buttonhole open some people just do the seam ripper the whole way I find that does not give me enough control maybe my seam ripper isn't sharp enough and then after that is done I am just sewing on the buttons I love these buttons they remind me of little candies and I think they're so cute now that I have fully finished my hand sewing spooky has come to join me on the couch usually I have to move my sewing around her but she timed it perfectly to when I ended so we snuggled a bit and now you guys can get ready for the reveal I am so excited to show you the results of making this dress seen the reveal so let's talk about it first of all I am a hundred percent sure this fabric makes me sneeze when I sew with it or fold it I, I will be fine wearing it um, it's just like mass quantities like 12 yards when I'm moving it around definitely makes me sneeze from all the like dust that flies off of it so that is something to note with this fabric however this fabric is truly really stunning I really also love this dress I will say there's something about the sleeves and the um, cuffs I guess uh, these I think you would call that a cuff uh, that I'm not a hundred percent loving however I am gonna give myself time to sit with them before I decide to take them off however I think ultimately I'll decide to not have these cuffs on here but I'm not there yet I just don't plan on dealing with that right this minute or anytime soon I want to first sit with it because sometimes I don't know how you guys feel about projects but sometimes when I wrap up a project I'm just like not happy with it because I've been looking at it so long so sometimes if I put away in a closet for like three or four weeks and then I put it back on I think it's the most amazing thing I've ever made so that could still happen with these cuffs so for now I'm gonna leave them because they were a lot of work and I do think they're really cute I really love it like just looking at this dress right here I really love these cuffs I just don't know if I love them on me so I'm gonna take some time to figure that out I was debating showing you guys like another part of the video showing me adjusting the cuffs to maybe be something that is more my style however like I said I'm not convinced that I don't like them I think I just might need a little bit of time to like them but I absolutely love the buttons and the bow tie um, or the tie that ties into a bow and I love this skirt while this pattern takes a massive amount of fabric the skirt that results from it is absolutely stunning I know I will love this dress I'll try to maybe keep you guys updated on Instagram if I end up altering this at all definitely go check out Drew's video I will link her video down below or at least her channel and then I'll hopefully update with her video once that goes live I am so curious what she makes we've talked in vague ness about what we made so I'm very curious what she makes how it turns out if she has any difficulties with this fabric for me this fabric was super easy to sew with because it kind of grips itself because of the flox dots and I honestly can't wait to make I'm definitely making a blouse I think I want to make a big balloon sleeve blouse out of this fabric 
I think that would be absolutely stunning. So that's my plan for another project with this. And then I'll probably sell the rest of the fabric, but that's not gonna be for a little while. I guess if you're interested, if I do sell this fabric and me tagging you, let me know, comment down below on that. Yeah, I, I really, I am A, really glad that I finally got around to this project. I'm really excited to see what Drew makes. Uh, and I'm so excited that maybe when we meet up in real life again, we can twin. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm like mad at myself for saying we aren't gonna see what each other is working on because I'm so desperate to know, but it, it'll be good. It means I have something to look forward to over the next like few days or weeks or whatever this goes live. So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed making this dress. And if you did enjoy it, you can always go over and buy me a coffee over on Ko-fi. And then of course you can always support my channel by liking this video, subscribing, or leaving a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, Spooky, you have something to say. Meow, meow, meow. Aw, oh, you little butt. Okay, that's not working. Hi. Spooky's also excited. Eek. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. She just stabbed me with her little tooth.